Yeah, both exceptional bowlers, um, very similar bowlers as well, you know, relentlessly at you all day. Um, so yeah, it's, it's got to that time of the series now when both of them will, will, will have a look at both of them. So it should be a good matchup. Yeah, we're still talking about what we need to do. Historically, Newlands is a ground where the, where the pitch spins a bit. Um, so it's just about finding that balance. You know, for us, it's always a tricky circumstance to try and find out what is that. Um, there's, there's a few combinations, whether it's the extra seamer, whether it's a spinner, or whether it's playing a batsman less. Um, it is something that we speak about quite regularly, and the selectors uh, through, I'm sure, after lunch, will have an answer regarding that. But if it, if it is a case of uh, going in with the three seasons and a spinner, um, would Dwan be the one to miss out in that situation? Uh, I can tell you that Dwan's going to play. Uh, that made that decision. Uh, so the rest is up and up. Still talking about the rest. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing you can write so far. Have you ever looked at the wicket stuff? Or yeah, I had a look at the wicket. Um, looks uh, pretty similar to what we've been seeing here before. A little bit of grass on, but also some patches there. Um, it's all, you know, if there's wind, uh, it possibly does play into the role of the spinner. Um, but it's, it's for us, it's, um, it's talking to the selectors and seeing how we can find what's, what's best for those conditions. And even maybe possibly waiting and see um, tomorrow what it looks like when we get to the ground. Yeah, as I said uh, after the previous test match, in a perfect world, everyone's scoring hundreds, everyone's doing really well. Um, but our, our success rate it's in, in home conditions um, the last three years has been at a very, very high percentage. Um, and what that's meant, it's, it's been a little bit tougher on the batters uh, at home. Um, so when you're playing against quality seam attacks, which most teams have around the world now, India was here. They've got a great seam attack. Australia was here, great seam attack, and now Pakistan. Um, the numbers of the batters will drop a bit, um, but for me uh, and the coach, we're okay with that. We're okay with looking at winning cricket. Um, that's our focus. Uh, our focus is to try and win as, as often as we can, and I think uh, statistically that is, that is the case at the moment. Uh, 15, I think Crystal said now, 15 out of 17. The last test matches we played, yeah, we do that. So. That will always be the, the biggest focus point for, for me and the coach. You, as an established player and as a captain, and the coach might be okay with the batsman not being yeah. down, but uh, <laughs> are there terms of fairness? No, no, it's, uh, as I said, it is, it is, it is it's, it's tough. Uh, and I, I can promise you it's not just tough on them, it's tough on the captain as well. Um, <laughs> I also want to be scoring hundreds and averaging 50. Um, but it's a good mindset in our changing room. You know, we speak about we speak about that. It's something that we are okay with, uh, and and I, and I think you can you can look at our, our openers as examples. They are, you know, guys that, that front up to tough conditions, all you know, all season round. Um, so, and, and and I think what makes um, us that a little bit different to other teams is that we are we are okay with it. You know, we're prepared to whatever if it's if it means failure, um, as long as we're winning then. The, the team does buy into it, um, but it is tough on young guys making their mark, um, playing on a wicket that's a little bit spicy, um, and then you, you go overseas and you play against uh, in the subcontinent when the ball probably spins from day one. Uh, so it, it's it's tough at the moment for guys, um, but I, as as with the captain, they just want to win games of, of Test cricket, so they're very happy because if you're winning, um, everyone stays stays, stays in the team. <laughs> Yes. Yes. No. Very important. Um, I always, well, I will always say that 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 your senior players and your big players need to put in performances. Um, they set the tone for for younger guys to come in and, and just play with no pressure on their shoulders. Um, you don't want youngsters coming in feeling like they have to score the runs because uh, the more experienced player is not getting runs. So it's very important. Myself, Hashim. 
um, dean uh, that we lead lead in that aspect that there's always one of us contributing to the cause uh, so very important for hash as well i think you know not just in red ball cricket uh, it's important for him to score some runs and just just relax a bit um, because runs is runs whether it's white ball or red ball uh, that hopefully that will be a, a good stepping stone for him which is a which is a big season for us this year you were never concerned about hash no, no, not, not as yet. Um, in my mind, Hash is, I suppose he's like Cook from England. Um, people always talk about him not scoring runs, but he's still the best um, that, 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 that we've got in the team. So, yeah, certainly not, not even close to my mind. Um, you know, if it was possibly another season where, where Ash would have struggled, then maybe next season I would have said something different, but not, not this season, no. So how, how difficult is it in 2019 where the World Cup That, that's a very good question. I mean, that, that's that's certainly something that's that's always at the back of my head. Uh, I can only speak from a personal point of view. You know, you're continuously thinking about um, decisions and, and stuff that will impact that. Uh, but it is always import also important to stay in the present um, because if you look at the World Cup the whole time, well, you'll lose sight of what's going on in front of you. So, yes, for me, there is that, that little bit of thinking ahead. Um, but at Unfortunately, it's too far out to start uh, making decisions right now that will impact then, um, because it is quite a while out. Um, as you mentioned there with, with Dale or, or any other bowlers um, in terms of workload or KG, um, the World Cup is still a bit of while um, away. Um, so probably you'll see more closer to the, to the World Cup that we will still think about stuff like that. And obviously the obvious one for me is the IPL. You know, the IPL is also just before the World Cup. Uh, and the last thing you want is one of your bowlers getting injured just before the tournament. Um, and, I, and I have said that that's something that's a concern for us, trying to see how we can play that scenario out best. Thank you guys. Approaches have lost one out of the last 17 tests. Obviously, the team enjoyed playing it. What are some of the reasons for this? It's a pretty good office to come to, um, with a backdrop in the mountain. Uh, yeah, I, you ask any cricketer which is their favourite ground, Newlands will be up there all over the world. So. You come here with a, that attitude that over the next five days the crowd is amazing here. So you come here, the crowds, they're singing Ashim song all day. Um, so you come here and you enjoy it. Um, and that's, that's as any job, you want to come, come to the office and with a smile on your face and a good mindset. Um, but as I said, we, we, pretty kn we, know, we know the conditions here pretty well. Uh, we know it works uh, and we've been consistent with that. So, but it's for me. It lies in the in the mental strength. Uh, Skipper, um, you've got a homeboy, a local homeboy in the team, Mr. Bayhamza. It doesn't look like he'll get a game. But what's been your impression of him, uh, both technically and as a person, and mm. how he fits into the team? Yeah, very good uh, human being. Uh, fits in very well. Um, I'm looking forward to him coming onto the field as a 12th man and getting one of those high ones <laughs> <laughs> that just test you as a youngster, just to see. Um, where you are with a bit of swirl in the wind here in Cape Town, so and then hopefully he takes it. And but he's yeah, he's a, a good fielder. I've made a joke with him yesterday to say is he ready to come and field and slips there with the big boys, and he said yes, he'll come. He's ready for it. So no, he's fitted in very well. Um, you never know. Eh? I mean, I've been around to see that it changes quickly. Um, one injury away, someone breaks a finger or hurts a finger, or Dean complains about his elbow again, and then he's, he's in the team. <laughs> Extremely. I mean, you know, personally for myself, I remember when we when we started on this jersey uh, jersey <laughs> journey, uh, we were number seventh uh, ranked test team. Uh, so for me, it was a personal challenge to get us back to the top. Obviously, Graham did an amazing job um, by getting us there for the first time ever, and it was a real goal of mine to try and work with whoever's obviously Russell at the time and now Gibbo as a coach to try and get us back to number one. Um, and in home conditions, we've we've been pretty dominant over the last two or three years. Um, so that's one one aspect of us trying to get us back to number one, and then also getting 
back to where we're traveling well as a team. You know, South Africa has got a very good record. Um, so next year, India would be another opportunity for that. Um, but yeah, for now, it's, it's making sure that we keep our, our home record very strong. Yeah, similar. I mean, Pakistan, bowling, their bowling was really good um, in that first test. Uh, it was really tough for all the batters, so we're expecting an, a good challenge out there again with the bat. Um, uh, and then when we when we bowled, off, I thought Pakistan, there's, you, you could see there was one or two things that in their batting lineup that we, we could get through, um, and that was discussed before the series as well. Um, so for, for me, it's making sure that you keep that pressure on them, you know. Teams come here to South Africa and they need they need confidence, uh, as we would do it when we go overseas. You want to play well, you want to get good innings, and you want to get confidence from that. Uh, so the fact that they started something in the second innings and we were pretty good at shutting it down, um, getting those nine wickets for 90 runs was really important for me because uh, if they had a good score there of 300, there would have been a huge confidence booster for them as a batting lineup. Um, so hopefully this. Um, first innings when we get an opportunity to bowl again, um, whenever that may be, uh, that we, we keep that pressure on them. That feels like a trick question. <laughs> No, I, I, it's, it's, it's going to be the challenge for them now is how well they do with that old ball. They've got very good seamers, um, but yeah, the ball's not obviously doing that much. That's exactly what it is. You want to, for me, it's about us as as a as a group of or a team or a leadership group, whatever is always to be composed, uh, no matter what, to look calm at. You know, when the, when the storm is there, when it's not. Um, so when you hear or see that in opposition, uh, obviously taking back to Australia, then you know that your cricket is is is, is doing the talking and that the team is under pressure. Um, but then what happens in the dressing room? I'm not. My ears are not in there, so I can't comment on that. I, I see them as a dangerous team always. I mean, uh, historically, they're a team that um, blows a bit hot and cold. Um, so it is obviously for us to be aware of their comeback and how, how strong and how motivated they will be for this test match. Uh, but for me, it will just be how well we start. And as I said, if we can. If we can keep a lid on the start, then I'm sure that the pressure can can build over over a few days. Uh, Skip, uh, Nikki Arthur mentioned that you know just that Yasser Khan Keshav didn't bowl that much in Centurion. He felt they could have picked four. Is that an option for Seamus Road? Is that an, a thinking or an option uh, come tomorrow? Yeah, as I said, one, it's one of the three options. There's two other options as well. Um, Obviously, Pretoria is known as a ground that d doesn't spin much. Um, historically, there it hasn't spun, apart from last year when we played on a brown pitch in in against India. Um, that changed our thinking. Uh, you know, normally when we go to Centurion, we think we don't need a spinner here, but after that test match, we felt we needed one. Um, but then you get to the coastal wickets, and then historically, it tells you that spinners does play a, a, a part here. Um, you know, if the wind blows here for a a few days, obviously in Cape Town, when it when it can do that, then it, it can play the spinner, bring the spinner more into the game. So hot conditions over three days' time, then a spinner, I assume, will will come into it. Um, but for us, it's more about balance than anything else. You know, it's not necessarily about playing a spinner or not. It's about trying to find what what we feel is is our most balanced team, um, and that changes on on conditions where we go to around the country. You know, I just just an enforcer role, I think, is important. Um, and he brings uh, variety to our attack. Uh, is you've got skill and a lot of skill in our bowling attack. Dwan is more than enforcer. He's a guy that you know puts you on the back foot, um, and sometimes can be a bit 
challenging for batters when they, especially when you come from the subcontinent where the ball doesn't bounce as high. Um, so I j just like the fact that there's a bit of variety in our attack. Um, he can come in. He's a he's a fit guy. He can bowl long spells uh, and like to have that uh, that in the armory where you've got the skill of Vernon. Um, or Dale or KG, um, not that they don't have uh, pace at all, but he's just that different. Um, he, he, he runs at you, he's, he's around your head most of the time. Um, it's not comfortable for anyone. So I just think it, it brings a real a real variety into our attack, which is nice to have. Just straight to the field, Sam. Three of six on KG. Just the prediction throws again, and the options that you guys can pull, pull in the batsman. And uh, sound like that, Duane. Afrikaans answer is always a long. Our two options, the opties, the um, seven callers uh, is one option, uh, with the four seamers and the spinner is also an option for us. Because obviously Newlands is a blad that is a bit more, for all the toots a bit further, can be a bit more spin. Uh, and then also the four seamers, the spinner and the six callers. But a good balance gives for us a span, but it is one cover minor. Um, Winner helps with that, because Winner is someone that can come and bat. Um, so there are a few options for us to look at. We can hear today with the players and then we can make a final decision to know how the blood is going to look. And the other part? Yeah, Duan uh, is going to play. He had 11 balls for the last game. He had a very, very good ball and I feel like he brings Goeie variation, um, na, na ontspant is. So, ja, as hy as hy twee of drie paal kies gekryd in die wedstrijd, was dit ook um, makkelijker om om nie na om te kyk. Het hy maar om met die hele hele het hy altemal uit die water uit geblaas. So, dit sal, ek denk dit sal simpel wees van ons om nie weet te kies nie. Ja, uh, ons speel baie goed die winnen, winnen, Vilander het nog altijd een goeie rekord die so hy raf van hom met die bal. Um, daar is bykie uh, siemeweging die dag 1 en 2. Uh, so al twee span het baie goeie bowling attack, so dit sal vir ons belangrijk ook wees, haar eerste innings, hoe goed ons kolf, uh, die loopies wat jy op die boord sit. Maar ons, ons is baie lief om in die kaap te kom speel. Uh, dit is een fantastische atmosfeer, die mense is altyd baie snaaks die so, en ons geniet het so. Hopelijk is het speel hier weer saam en ons het vijf lekker daarvan toetskrik het wat voorlee. Did you get that? <laughs>